We all know that to be successful in what we want to do, it takes some discipline, right? But one of the things that's rarely talked about, I want to share with you in this video, is the discipline of rest. Do you have the discipline of rest or are you applying yourself to the discipline of rest? So there are um, three things I want to talk about, actually four things I want to talk about in this video. And before I do that, I want to share with you my sweet little dog, buddy. Say hello. <laughs> He's very cute. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is to rest deeply. It's to have a stretch of days on your calendar, in your schedule, where you have no obligations, no social engagements, no uh, business engagements, no client appointments, okay? No family obligations. Try to have as little and not try to have nothing on your calendar at all except the things you have to do for your own personal health. Maybe you have to do some grocery shopping or something. But even then, try to do it before the stretch of several days where you have nothing to do and where you truly are resting your willpower when you have no obligation. Now, some people need two weeks. Actually, the research I've read says that people typically need two weeks in order to truly unwind. And so, um, and I think that probably is because people take trips and traveling is stressful. It takes energy and it takes your willpower. So um, maybe that's why it takes people two weeks is they take several days to travel, they rest, they need to get into, you know, settling into the hotel or whatever and then they, and then they can truly rest and then they needed some some days to come back so maybe if you can find one week where you don't have to travel and you can just be without any obligations that may be enough for you to deeply rest because from the deep rest can come you will be surprised to find that natural creative energies and new ideas and new passion for your purpose and then maybe even a new way a new more exciting way to approach your purpose comes as a result of having deep rest so you need the discipline of putting those one or two weeks or more into your calendar so you let all of your contacts or the people that might schedule with you, you let them know that you're not going to be available for those one or two weeks you let your family know you let your friends know so then you once you put that in as a block then you can truly be at rest for that during that time okay some people even take sabbaticals as you know which which is like a year off or several months off uh, from from working okay so deep rest see how you can implement that into your schedule into your calendar ironically it takes discipline to rest um, if you can uh, include nature into that so go to your local park uh, every day during that time or every several days being in nature is is deeply restful for the human psyche so if you can incorporate that that would be wonderful um, the second thing I want to mention is so worst first thing is resting deeply the second thing is resting frequently uh, as my I'll give you my example I take four naps a day you may have heard me talk about this in one of my other videos, but literally, I take a 15-minute nap after breakfast. I take a, a 10 to 15-minute nap after my mid-morning walk um, and snack. I take a 15-minute nap after lunch, and I take a 15-minute nap, 10 to 15-minute nap after my afternoon snack and uh, and and break during my afternoon break. So every one of those naps makes me feel like a different person afterwards. It, it makes me, it gives me new energy and new perspective again to take on the challenges that are in front of me and to do the work that I feel called to do. And I think rest also allows us to do work from a more positive and more loving place. A more kind, we are able to treat others with more kindness because we've rested. We are rested. Okay. And then finally, the third type of rest is spiritual rest. I find this incredibly important, again, to be able to do our work from a more positive and loving place. And isn't that what matters most? 
to do our work from a loving place. Mother Teresa says, instead of trying to do big things, try to do small things with great love. And so spiritual rest, to me, is about doing my energy reboot on a regular basis. And I will give, put a link in the notes of this video to energy reboot um, practice. But it's basically resting in divine love. Resting in divine love. And with that, um, Buddy is, has found someone to bark at, so I better get going. But I hope this is helpful. Let me know. I'm always open to your comments and questions. And you can see the notes of this video for the link to the Energy Reboot. Be well.